Hey everyone, it's Driving Instructor Liz here to help you prepare for your DMV Learner's Permit Test. In today's video, we're going to go over different roadside questions that could show up on your test. Now, all of these questions were taken from actual DMV tests, so let's go over them and make sure you know what all of these signs mean. All right, so let's get started with our first question. This red and white sign means a, give the right away to other drivers, B, other drivers must yield to you, or C, make a complete stop before asserting your right of way. The correct answer would be A, give the right of way to other drivers. Now a three-sided red yield sign means you must slow down and be ready to stop if necessary to let others pass before you proceed. So if you have a yield sign, you've got to give that right of way to vehicles, bicyclists, or pedestrians. All right, let's move on. The two-way road you are driving on has a lane marked as shown in the picture. This lane is used A. As a regular driving lane during periods of heavy traffic B. To pass other vehicles that are moving slowly or C. To begin or end left turns or start a permitted U-turn. The correct answer is C. To begin or end left turns or start a permitted U-turn. Now, a center left turn lane, also known as just a center turn lane, is in the middle of a two-way street and is marked on both sides by two painted lines. So the inner line is going to be broken and the outer line is going to be solid. And if a street has a center left turn lane, you must use it when you turn left or you're starting a permitted U-turn. You can also use a center left turn lane to enter traffic when you're turning left from a side street or a driveway. Alrighty, next question. This yellow sign means... A, merging lane ahead, B, one lane road ahead, or C, lane ends ahead. Correct answer is A, merging lane ahead. Something really important to remember is that yellow diamond shaped signs warn you of specific road conditions and dangers ahead. So the merging traffic sign alerts you that two lanes will be merging into a single lane up ahead. Got it? Great, let's go ahead and continue. A red and white do not enter sign means A. Do not enter the road ahead unless it is safe to do so B. The road ahead is close to traffic in your direction or C. The road ahead is close to traffic in all directions Correct answer is B. The road ahead is close to traffic in your direction Square red and white regulatory signs mean that you must follow the science instruction so for example, this do not enter sign means do not enter a road or off ramp where the sign is posted, which is usually posted on a freeway off ramp or a one way street. Let's move on. This yellow sign means A, narrow pedestrian bridge ahead, B, pedestrians must yield the right of way ahead, or C, there's a pedestrian crosswalk ahead. Correct answer would be C, there's a pedestrian crosswalk ahead. So a pedestrian crosswalk sign is warning you that pedestrians could be crossing the street up ahead. So you've got to be on the lookout for any people that could be crossing the street, cover your brake, and be ready to stop or slow down if it's needed. Our next question is, this blue sign means parking is allowed A. Only for disabled persons with a special placard or plate B. Only for persons in wheelchairs or C. For disabled persons without a special placard or plate correct answer for this one a only for disabled persons with a special placard or plate so disabled people with a special placard or plate uh, may park in special areas marked with blue sign or blue painted curbs no one else is allowed to park there and also a cross hatched or diagonal lines area that's adjacent to a designated disabled parking spot is a no parking area because this area is used for loading or unloading passengers that have disabilities. Let's continue. This black and white sign means A. One lane road to the right B. All traffic must turn right ahead or C. One way street traffic travels to the right. Correct answer is C. One way street traffic travels to the right. White rectangular signs mean Gotta obey those rules. Now, a one-way sign alerts drivers that traffic is flowing one way in the direction that the arrow is pointing. So in this scenario, it would be to the right. Let's continue. This yellow sign means A, medical services ahead, 
B, there's a T intersection ahead, or C, another road crosses yours ahead. Correct answer, C, another road crosses yours ahead. That crossroad sign is warning you that an intersection is coming up ahead and you need to be alert for any possible cross traffic. Alrighty, this next question. An orange and red sign of this shape on a vehicle always means A, slow moving vehicle, B, the vehicle has the right of way, or C, shoulder work ahead. Correct answer, A, slow moving vehicle. Now some vehicles are not designed to keep up with the speed of traffic. You gotta look out for these vehicles and adjust your speed before you reach them. So slow moving vehicles such as farm tractors or animal drawn carts or even road maintenance vehicles, they'll have this orange slash red triangle on the back of the vehicle. This YOLO sign means A, the road ahead may be slippery, B, the road ahead has many curves, or C, there's a sharp curve in the road ahead. The correct answer is A, the road ahead may be slippery. The slippery when wet sign warns you that the road surface ahead is more slippery than others when it's wet or it's icy. So you gotta be ready to slow down when you're approaching these slippery roads. Let's continue. This yellow sign means A, lanes merge ahead, B, divided highway ahead, or C, obstructed roadway ahead. Correct answer is B, divided highway ahead. A divided highway sign lets you know that the road ahead will soon be divided by a barrier or a center island as some people call it. So you'll need to keep on the right side of that barrier, okay? Let's continue. This yellow sign means A, vehicles on this road travel in two directions. B, one way road widens into two lanes ahead. Or C, there is a divided highway ahead. Correct answer is A, vehicles on this road travel in two directions. A two-way traffic sign indicates that you're traveling on a road with vehicles moving in two directions. So there's oncoming traffic and there's traffic traveling in your direction. Let's move on. This white sign means A, stay in the right lane if you are driving slower than other traffic. B, you should slow down and move to the right lane. Or C, slower traffic must exit to the right. Correct answer is A, stay in the right lane if you are driving slower than other traffic. The slower traffic keep right sign requires that drivers traveling slower than the flow of traffic move to the right lane. All right, next question. An orange colored sign like this means A, you must change lanes ahead. B, there is road work ahead. C, there is a detour ahead. Correct answer is B, there is road work ahead. If you see orange construction signs and cones on a freeway, you must be prepared for workers and equipment up ahead. And for your own safety and the safety of your passengers, remember to slow down, allow extra following room, merge early, expect sudden slowing or stopping, watch for drivers that are changing lanes last minute, because that does happen quite often, and avoid distractions such as your hands-free cell phone device while you're driving in a work zone. Moving on, this white sign means don't pass A, until after you pass the sign, B, other vehicles for any reason, C, unless it is safe to do so. Correct answer is B, other vehicles for any reason. So when you encounter this do not pass sign, means you cannot pass another vehicle for any reason. And this next question is, this white sign means you, A, may turn left only on a green arrow, B, must wait for the solid green light before you turn left, or C, may turn left on a green light when it is safe. The correct answer would be C, may turn left on a green light when it is safe. So the left turn yield on green sign lets you know that you can make a left turn at that intersection, but you can only do so when it is safe. All right, let's move on to our next question. This yellow sign means A, detour ahead, B, right turn permitted on green arrow only, or C, sharp turn to the right. Correct answer would be C, sharp turn to the right. The sharp turn sign alerts you that a sharp turn is approaching and you're gonna have to drive with caution and reduce your speed as you're approaching that turn. 
All right, let's move on to this next question. This yellow sign means A, the traffic signal ahead is not working, B, there's a traffic signal ahead, or C, be prepared to stop if the light is flashing. Correct answer, B, there's a traffic signal ahead. Remember, a traffic signal ahead sign warns you that a traffic signal is coming up ahead. You have to be ready to stop in case that light is red up ahead. Next question, you want to turn left ahead. In the middle of the road, there's a lane marked as shown. You must. Now we covered a question similar to this one a little bit earlier, so let's see if you remember. Our options are A, merge completely into this lane before you make your left turn. B, turn from your current traffic lane after signaling. C, not enter this lane for any reason. Correct answer is a, merge completely into this lane before you make your left turn. Now remember, if a, tr if a street has a center left turn lane, you must use it when you turn left or you start a permitted U-turn. Next question, this white sign means A, right turn yield, B, slower traffic should move to the right, or C, drive to the right. Correct answer is C, drive to the right. This keep right sign is instructing you to do just that, to keep to the right, drive to the right. Let's move on. This yellow sign means A, less space between lanes ahead, B, the highway will be divided ahead, or C, right lane will end ahead. Correct answer is C, the right lane will end ahead. So this sign is letting us know that a lane is ending up ahead. And if you're driving in that lane, you're going to need to safely make a lane change to any open lane. All right, let's move on to our next question. If you are in the lane marked with a curved arrow and the word only, A, you must turn left, B, you must turn right, C, you are the only driver in the lane who can turn. Correct answer is A, you must turn left. So when there are two or more left turn lanes, you must pick a lane and turn into its designated lane. So for example, if you're in the inner turn lane, you must turn into the inner lane. And if you're in the outer turn lane, you must turn onto the outer lane. If the turn lane you're in is marked with the word only, then you must follow the direction of that sign. However, if the lane you're in has an arrow that's pointing both left and straight, then you have the option of either turning left or continuing straight. Okay, let's move on to our final question. A freeway on-ramp is marked with this white sign. Which of the following vehicles may use this lane? A, a sport utility vehicle containing an adult, child, and family pet. B, a carpool van containing only the driver. Or C, a convertible with an adult and two children. Correct answer is C, a convertible with an adult and two children. An HOV lane is a special lane reserved for carpools, buses, motorcycles, or low emission vehicles that have decals on them. So to use an HOV lane for carpooling, you must have a certain amount of people in your vehicle. And there will be signs posted on the on-ramp or along the road that tell you what's the minimum number of people you're supposed to have in your car. So how did you do? If you didn't get a perfect score, don't worry about it. You can always rewatch the video until you ace the quiz because all of these questions could show up on your actual DMV permit test. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're on the lookout for more videos just like this one as we plan to add several more practice tests to our channel pretty soon. Until next time, stay safe out there and we'll see you on the road soon.